Betsy Lopez with Rich Girl Network TV, and we are honored to be here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel for the Friendly House Luncheon Gala. We cannot wait to speak to our honorees and the celebrity guests here on the red carpet. here to present Man of the Year. Joe is one of your good friends. Why do you feel he is deserving of this honor? He's a giant teddy bear. He's, you know, Joe is, he's such an interesting case study because he looks like a jock. And in by some respects, he is. He's a jock. He's, he's the guy that, like, guys like, guys who look like Joe were guys I was afraid of in school. But that's not who Joe is. Like, his, like, if you opened up his chest cavity, there'd be this nerdy little kid inside piloting this mech warrior of a body and uh he's just he's a sweetheart he's been in recovery for a long time i also have we have that in common and uh and and he's really vocal and open about it because he knows how important that is and uh and he's just the sweetest guy he's just a good guy thank you and i love the fact that both of you are here obviously to still stand on this platform to speak on that so really quick what do you have to say to those who are currently fighting um, keep fighting and believe in yourself and you're worth it you are it's something that I'm probably gonna say on stage is and that's what friendly house is so such an amazing organization is because they really instill a sense of worth back into people's lives who seemingly have lost everything including their own sense of self-worth so it uh, it is an incredibly important organization and you know if if my mom were ever going through something like this it makes me feel better to know that Friendly Houses exists. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to watch your journey, and I'm so stoked nice. that you're here. And see you. Yeah, nice to see you again, too. So how important is it for you to be here with us today? Well, I love coming to the, uh, the Friendly House luncheon every, every time I can. Um, the work that Peggy and Friendly House do, along with Monica Phillips, is, uh, is really meaningful work, and I, I love supporting it. And what's your personal connection to Peggy and everybody here? Uh, well, my personal connection, I mean, I, I work as a substance use disorder counselor in a treatment center here in L.A. called Breathe Life Healing Centers. So not only uh, are a lot of these people my friends, but they're also my colleagues. I hope you enjoy the events. So happy to have you back once again. And so nice to see you, Ms. McKenzie. All right, enjoy. See you. So how important is it for you to be here? And what is your personal connection to, to supporting Friendly House? Well, I'm very good friends with, well, my publicist. Nadine Jolson and my friend uh, Babette Eisen, they're very involved in this and they, I've known them for a long, long time and, and in my sobriety they had suggested, you know, why don't you come around and get involved and so I've been coming to this thing, I think, I don't know, six years, seven years I've been coming here? Yeah. At least. Yeah, about seven. Yeah. About seven years. And you know, and I hope to be around and come to another seven years or more and uh, you know, if you this is to celebrate people who do things for the sober community and and I whatever I can do for people who need to get in the sober community I, I, I'm willing to lend a hand and it must feel great to see things come full circle for you and so we appreciate you being here in support thank you for all the work that you do to raise awareness thank you well, thank you I I mean I you know Muhammad Ali once wrote a poem and apparently according to I forget the name of the book uh, about poem poetry it's the shortest poem on, in history, and the poem is Me, We. So, yeah, a lot of times everything's about me, but I can't take care of the me without the we.